Today's video is brought to you by the TLD Tech Deal of the Week. 30 bucks off Sony's MDR XB500 Extra Bass headphones. No awkward ad in the middle of the video. Just killer headphones at a kick ass price. Link in the description. Hey guys, Jonathan here with Techfest Lunch and Dinner. Today we're going to talk 2012 MacBook Pros as well as 2012 iMacs. Now, a few months prior, I had made a video regarding the 2012 MacBook Pro, and since then, all you guys have been asking me is when are they coming out? Now, that was just kind of a heads up video that they should be coming out in the distant future, so try and hold off if you were planning on buying one. Now, we have known for a while that the next generation Macs will feature Intel's Ivy Bridge CPUs, which is the third generation Core i CPUs to follow up to Sandy Bridge. There was a little bit of back and forth going on. Those had actually been delayed, which in turn delay the MacBook Pros and the iMacs, but they're actually should be released sometime at the end of this month. There's a rumored date of April 23rd, so that's a good sign for MacBook Pros and iMacs. Not only that, but I was checking out Best Buy yesterday, and I saw that they were pushing iMacs uh, in the front of the store, which means they're more than likely trying to get rid of the old stock to make room for the new stock, and with everything lining up with that, with the Ivy Bridge release date, I would expect these to come out sometime, maybe at the end of this month or sometime in May. Now, as far as what that brings to the table for the next gen Max, Ivy Bridge is based off the 20 2 nanometer process so it should require less power consumption which in turn specifically for the MacBook Pros to generate better battery life. We'll obviously see faster clock speeds which will affect the entire line the MacBook Pros the iMacs but more importantly uh, that's going to affect the MacBook Pros as well as even the Mac Minis is better integrated graphics so like the 13 inch MacBook Pros and the Mac Mini baseline they don't have any dedicated GPU in there. So with Ivy Bridge like I said we should see much better performance out of those integrated graphics. Now in addition to that we should see a thinner form factor and one of the more interesting rumors we got going on is a retina display macbook pro and with the release of the third generation ipad it's not so far-fetched that resolution is 2048 by 1536 there's a rumored release of a 2880 by 1800 15 inch macbook pro and even more interesting beyond the macbook pro sharp began production of ultra high resolution retina s displays specifically what caught my attention most was a 32 inch model now could you guys imagine a 32 inch imac or even a 32 inch thunderbolt display with a resolution of 3840 by 2160 mind blown so as awesome as those things are there's still rumors at this point but we should know finally very soon so thank you guys for watching if you haven't subscribed make sure to do so so you don't miss any unboxings or reviews of the next generation macbook pros as well as imax probably the mac minis too if you guys have any tech questions or macbook pro buying questions feel free to hit me up on twitter or google plus both those links are in the description again if you guys are feeling like being awesome make sure to give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys later Thank you